welcome to another one of Rich and Jen's Adventures. And today we're gonna do something a little different. So yesterday we went to Cracker Barrel and we had dinner and we hadn't been there in a while. And we saw these uh, featured on their little tabletop tents. And it said that for every meal that you purchase while you're eating in Cracker Barrel, you can get a $5 take home meal to take with you. And they're fresh, ready to go. So we thought we wanted to check it out. Well, we thought we were just gonna get one. And then we said, you know what? Let's get them all four and try them because what a terrific idea if you're gonna go have breakfast, for example, at Cracker Barrel with everything as expensive as it is, that you could get an additional meal for $5 and take it back to your cabin um, or your hotel because a lot of them have little refrigerators and then have lunch or dinner for $5. But what would you get? That's what we were wondering and how would it be? So we thought we'd get them. And so this is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do each one and we're gonna try it. And we got a meatloaf with mac and cheese. That's one of the choices. A smoky Southern grilled chicken. This is the second one with mashed potatoes. The third one is a fried home style chicken with macaroni and cheese. And then this one is really interesting, and it is a fresh blueberry French toast bake with strawberry syrup. So when you go in, you tell them which one you want. They're fresh, not frozen. Um, so if you go have dinner and you want to get four breakfasts, you do that. If you go get breakfast and you want four dinners, you pick them and do them. Uh, so anyway, which one do you want to start with, Rich? Um, I think we'll do breakfast last. Okay. Let's do the meatloaf. Okay. All right, well, we'll start out with the meatloaf and then we'll uh, try them and let you know what we think. So the first one is a meatloaf mac and cheese and it says microwave, remove lid, place in microwave and cook two to two and a half minutes. So that's what we're going to do. All right, let's do it. And we're going to do two minutes and 15 seconds. So we're Magic of YouTube. That was two and a half minutes. <laughs> oh, no, two minutes, 15 seconds. All right. I love this thing. I use it all the time. Nothing splatters. All right. So here we are. Wow, it looks good. Macaroni and cheese is all bubbly. Well, it smells really good. It does. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> all right. So we're going to cut it in half. This is kind of fun. I don't have to cook dinner again. <laughs> yeah, this is your dinner, or my dinner. Piece of meatloaf. That's a pretty good size. Not bad. I mean, you know, it's definitely enough for and one. So the taste test. Macaroni Let's and cheese. Let's go for it. Ready? Macaroni and cheese. Oh, meatloaf first? Yeah. It's nice and tender, I can tell you that. It's not hard. I don't like hard meatloaf. I thought it was good. It's really good. It's tender. Got really hot in two minutes and 15 I seconds. I know. <laughs> That's crazy. And then the macaroni and cheese. It's okay. I tried the mac. It's not bad. I See, mean, I like it. Yeah. And I think... I like creamy macaroni and cheese. What made us come back and, and buy the rest, the all four of them, is we were thinking, we do a lot of RVing in our motorhome, and we stop at rest areas, and what better of having one of these in the fridge throw in the microwave when you're on the road for a 20, 30 minute stop. Yep. It's perfect. Because you can go out and get breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Th walk out, throw these in the refrigerator, and like you said, stop at the rest stop, put it in Especially the microwave. Especially for people to spend the night. And I'm not sure if this uh, Cracker Barrel and Sevierville lets, but I thought I saw a motorhome pulling away that when we picked these up, so. Yeah, Cracker Barrel is really cool because if you don't have an RV, you probably don't know this, but they allow RVers to spend the night for free in the parking lot. And then of course you patronize them as a business and you have either dinner there before or breakfast there in the morning. And of course you stay out of the way of the other vehicles. Um, but what a nice thing for them to do. I love this macaroni and cheese. It's okay, it's not bad. Uh, some people like that kind of, you know, dry baked. Well, I like it. Dry. I like the creamy. Well, mm. I like them both, but this is really good creamy. Mm. So I give it a good thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up for sure. And which one do we try next? Uh, you pick it. All right. I say since we just had macaroni and cheese, 
We have the smoky southern grilled chicken with the mashed potatoes. Sounds good, let's do it. Okay. What you got cooking? Bella came in the kitchen. She said, I smelled something. I'm ready to eat, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tongue's going up. Oh, there's the other one. Food? Some say Vincent food. said, hmm, I smell bells. So they conned Mom out of a snack. I have to separate them. Bella has a tendency to be a very aggressive eater. She tries to eat Vincent's food. All right, whoop, we're at six seconds. Rich, do you know how to take that out of the microwave? Need so. some help? No, I think I got this. <laughs> I hear it. Sizzling? It's sizzling. Oh, we need to bring some butter over here, Chris. Let me see. What? Oh, looks good. All right, let's put it on the table and try this one. All right, we're doing uh, number two. Ooh, yes. It smells good. It does. And what's it look like inside? That's a real chicken. I mean, I don't know if it's funny, juicy. but that's a real chicken breast. It's not one of those preformed things. No. And it is juicy. Looks good. All right, grab yourself uh, some smashed taters. Some taters, yep. Wow, that's a nice size serving of potatoes. Look at that. Looks like they got seasoning in them or something. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, I brought some butter over. Yes. This half of a serving is a nice amount. I mean, if you had a little salad or something with this, I'm just going to have mine naked so I can see what they taste okay. like. Okay. Go right. for it. So we do, I'm going to take a bite of the potatoes first. Might get a little too much butter. Mmm. They are seasoned good. I can see it. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's pepper. Well, it's some kind of southern styled. Butter would be better on them though. Just cause. Uh, butter's better. With Everything's everything. better. With butter. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try chicken. Mmm. Good. Wow. For five dollars, though. Oh my I mean, gosh, we were just reading what five guys fries or something. Yeah, like that? somebody said that to get a McDonald's hamburger, which we haven't eaten a McDonald's hamburger in like five years, <laughs> and French fries and a drink was like ten dollars. So this is a lot healthier option. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, than hamburger or french fries. Mm. Mm. Well, My biggest thing though is the price. Five dollars is like crazy cheap. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I don't know how long they've been doing this, but it's probably going well. He said people come in there sometimes and get like 12 when they have a party of 12 and they take them with them. So it's obviously. Yeah, I mean, that's. It's not a bad deal thing to do. Mm -mm. Put them in the freezer. I'm sure they freeze well. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, that was good. Yeah, let's I'm excited to try the next one. Let's finish these up and then we'll go to number three. All right, we'll be back when we're done with these. This one is a country fried chicken with macaroni and cheese. Bella says, yes, please. <laughs> so, I don't think so, girl. This is uh, number three. Same instructions on this one. Okay. I can't get used to having dinner like this. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks a little hotter. Uh, let me tell you, so far, this one has piqued my interest the most. Well, I can see the seasoning on the chicken. Mm-hmm. And, and there's some on macaroni and cheese. I don't know if it came off the chicken, but. Of course, the breading's a little soft. It was microwave. Um, uh, that doesn't bother me. No, not at all. I don't want to burn my mouth. I have a feeling this is going to be really hot. It smells good. Mmm. Is it hot? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but this is really good for a $5 takeout thing, man. I'm not complaining. Mmm. That's good. Well, I say we uh, wrap this little plate up and then we'll go on to the next one. Mm-hmm. What, a minute and 10 seconds? Yeah, a minute and 10 seconds. That thing smells like some sort of dessert. It does. What are you laughing at? It smells really good. It does. Oh, I don't know what that is on the top. Oh, oh my gosh, this looks really. Well, no way. No, minute. cut it yeah, this way. Yeah. Whoa, look how big that is. That's big. 
Now, what is this called again? This is a fresh <clears throat> blueberry and French toast bake. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna smush mine down just a little bit so the blueberries won't fall off. And then there's one, two, three, four. You can there's have the majority. seven blueberries. All right, here it goes. Look at this. Mm. Ready? Mm -hmm. You put butter on yours. Yeah. You're supposed to taste it first. Okay. Wow, Rich. Looks pretty good. We'll have to go there just to get this for a dessert. Oh, is this a dessert? No, but it looks like one. I don't want to burn my... It's not that hot. Mmm. That's cream cheese. Mmm. That stuff on top. That was cream cheese. That was good. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Yeah, it is. It's like bread pudding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is perfect for a little dessert. This is really good. Yeah, they should make this a dessert. Put a little bit more of that cream cheese on it. Mmm. I uh, see you kind of doctored yours up a little bit. Oh, what do you mean? A little Blue Bell ice cream on there? Just a little. Well, that was pretty good. Surprisingly good. I liked it. Mm -hmm, me too. Well, I've been waiting for this. Um, what did you like the best? Right. Out of the meatloaf, the uh, country... Fried steak? Yeah. Chicken fried steak? Yeah. Baked chicken? Baked chicken or the... French toast French bake. toast bake. French toast bake. You liked it, huh? Yes. It was well, good. you know, okay, like for dinner, I would pick the chicken fried steak with the macaroni and cheese because the French toast bake was like a dessert. It was so good. I love the people here at Cracker Barrel. The store, the places are all clean. People are all nice. And you can actually go online at that Cracker Barrel. Did you know that? And reserve a seat. Or not reserve a seat, but do uh, online waiting. Did not know that. Yeah. That one so, in Sevierville. Mm -hmm. All of them. Oh, there's really? three. There's one um, near the spur. There's one uh, kind of like by the Christmas um, shop. And then there's the one out by the Publix right as you come in at the gateway to the Smokies. That's the one we went to. And then there's also one in Kodak. So there's like four within like 20 miles. I thought that was a lot of fun. Yeah. And if you guys like this kind of content, um, please like and subscribe. Yes. We appreciate you watching these. We just uh, had the idea um, when we were leaving to do this. So we, instead of grabbing one, we just grabbed all four and um, <laughs> figured, you know, hey, I could get out of cooking. Yeah, right. And it, <laughs> and it was good. It really it was, is good. It really was. So. Well, thank you for watching. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.